This is day three of the Broadway shutdown, and look at me, I've got a smile on my face. It is not always the easiest thing to do when things are so uncertain, but I'm determined to uh, keep a smile on my face and do whatever I can to help keep smiles on the faces of as many people in the Broadway community as possible. This is a totally unscripted opportunity for us to just get together, feel the kind of community we're used to feeling in theatrical audiences, and hopefully find some love um, and uh, remind ourselves that we are all loved and all part of this community. So joining me any minute now is Broadway's Jelani Aladdin. Um, you might know him as the original Kristoff in Frozen, the musical. Uh, he is one of the sweetest, nicest people I know. And um, I'm really excited that he is going to be a part of this. Um, Meanwhile, if you have any thoughts, any feelings, this is a safe space, put them in the comments. We're going to address as many people's thoughts and feelings and futures and um, anything else you want to post as we can. Uh, I will say that I, um, I slept till two o'clock today and I've had a, an entire pot of coffee, so I'm feeling a little wired. Um, and uh, that is my coping coping mechanism of the day. There's Jelani in the comments, so I'm just waiting for him to press that uh, that request to join live uh, button. Um, some of the rest of you are, are pressing that too. Um, I am not going to pick up uh, anybody but J Jelani today, but maybe we can do an interactive uh, an interactive support group. Um, with video sometime soon. Um, someone asked about the toilet paper situation. I have like eight rolls left. Um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know how long that will last me, but I also have a shower right next to um, my toilet. So if I get in a real emergency, I can do that. Okay, guys, Jelani is asking, how does he join the call? Um, there is a request button. Uh, there should be. I don't have it because I'm the one hosting the live video. But oh, there's Jesse Swim, who was yesterday's guest in the support group. And, uh, and he's suggesting to Jelani that he might have to click out and click back in. As with everything I do, this is all about... Um, being authentic, and that means being uh, imperfect. Okay, wait, here's Jelani. I'm going to go live with Jelani Aladdin. Add. Waiting for Jelani Aladdin. I should get, oh, did I accidentally flip the camera? There I am. Okay, there's me. Now I'm waiting for Jelani. Woo! I made it in. You did it. Yay. Look at that. You know what? Oh my God. All, I've been saying that the, um, this shutdown might be the opportunity to learn something new, and you've just learned something new. Yeah, I had no clue. That was going to be at the bottom, and it wasn't on the bottom, so that was weird. Um, wait, I could what? add filters to it? Whoa. Oh, you can? I don't even know about that. Wait a Hold second. It never bothered me anyway. <laughs> this is like a return to your frozen roots with this filter oh. you've got on. Whoa. So there, you can do any, any one. Oh, I can I even do know. like these roulette thingies. I hate those, but okay. <laughs> I've I've actually never done one of those. I, I need to like start it, playing with Instagram more. It just became people's personality for a while. You're like, uh, okay, we get it. <laughs> My favorite was when people were actually saying things like, you know, like doing finding out which character they were in their own show. Oh, yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> which frozen character am I? Hmm. Hmm. Let me guess. The one that you play every night. <laughs> So how are you feeling? How am I feeling? Um, you know, to be quite honest, it's a little, we it's a little weird. I haven't left the house mm -hmm. today. Uh, yesterday, did I leave yesterday? I went out yesterday to get like, uh, so first of all, I'm not even in my own home. Where are you? I'm I mean, in you a don't sub have to be specific. We don't want no, people no, showing I, up I, there. I'm in, I'm, in, I'm in a sub bed because my house had a fire two weeks ago. My apartment building had a fire two weeks ago. In your apartment? Yeah. Um, not my apartment. It started on the fifth floor of my building. I'm on the first. So my apartment got flooded with the water from the, from the, from the uh, kind of save the building. So I haven't lived in my home for about three weeks now. You um, must feel so unsettled. I, I, and I was still going to auditions. I was still, you know, I'm still working on a project here in the city. So I'm still doing that. And I did a whole workshop of a play last week. Um, 
and yet I have no home. Like, you know what I mean? So it's, it's like, and of course now Corona is happening. So I'm like, okay, cool, cool. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, I am finding so much comfort being in my own home. And I am yeah. so sorry that you don't have that. Because I think that when we panic, or, and I don't want to put panic on you. If you're not panicking, that's great. Um, right. But I, I just want to, like, go to my safe space. And for me, that's yeah, my home. Yeah. So my heart's really going going out to you. Yeah, I just want to say, that people are commenting, and somebody says specifically, is there any way we can help you, Jelani? Oh, you know what? There is no way anyone else can help. It's kind of a situation that kind of just has to heal itself over time. Much like the situation mm -hmm. that we're in now. You know what I mean? Um, I'm a very optimistic person, and I always believe that everything happens for a reason. And I think there was a reason that it happened. I think I'm entering, I think we're all entering a new season of our lives. And I think, you know, um, we should be thinking of this moment as a nice pause, mm. as a nice kind of way to be like, okay, I sat down today and I made a list of like, what are the things I've been dying to do that I haven't had the time to do because I've been so busy with work and trying to like, you know, survive. And we have been given the gift of that time to do yeah. those things. So Aww, why not, that's why such not, a great, brilliant way of looking at it. Yeah. You know, like I pulled out my computer today and I there's this pilot that I've been writing that I've kind of doing different drafts of. And I was like, let's continue working because like there are still ways to be creative while you're at home. Like don't just like sit at home and chill. Like, you know, I even today was like, Maybe in the bathroom, I'm going to pull out an old voice memo from an old voice lesson and, like, do that because I haven't, like, really, like, sung in a while. You know what I mean? So th there's so many things that you could be doing. Um, yeah. But, yeah, but it's, like, but, you know, everything, I firmly believe that all will be okay. And you kind of have to have that, like, as an artist, period, you have to have that, like, kind of um, overwhelming sense of optimism because, let's face it, like, this biz is all denied. Uh, you, get, you get told no so many times that, like, what what is keeping you to your yes you know what i mean and for me it's this endless this faith and this belief that like everything will be okay you know um wow. at the end I, of the day, like I didn't get to the point in my life where i could think that way until i was like in my late 30s and i feel wow. like you have gotten it together so <laughs> so <at the> <laughs> Yeah, um, no, I just, you know, where I think, do you think it, you got that optimism from? Yeah, I think I got it from my family and my mom, the way I was raised in Brooklyn. Like, you know, we didn't have a lot growing up. Um, and we kind of had this belief that, like, whatever you want, you can make it for yourself. You can make that happen for yourself. You just got to work hard for it. Um, and so that kind of, like, instilled a sense of, like, the I'm in control. Like, I'm the one who controls the narrative. No one else. You know what I mean? Um, excuse me, I have to burp. Uh, excuse me. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was that's Guys, my favorite thing you've ever done. Oh, I'm a drinking a little, for, for yes, it's a bubble, so that's that's why I'm burnt. still Sorry. drinking coffee at seven p.m. and uh, coffee. Um, I probably I've, won't I've, sleep tonight, but fun fact, maybe I'll create drink, something. Fun fact: I don't drink coffee. Well, that's probably a good idea. <laughs> but, here, but here I am burping up a storm. So excuse me for my, ga uh, my gassy behavior. Little known fact about me, I'm a huge fan of burps and burping. <laughs> I just think it's the funniest thing ever. So you go ahead and you pound that soda and you yeah. <laughs> let her rip. Let her rip. Yeah. Um, so your family's in Brooklyn. Are, is everybody doing well? Have you gotten to see well, them? And I'm why are you staying in a sublet if your family's in Brooklyn? Well, because sure. like I, I I had like work things going on, so I kind of wanted to still be able to function here in Manhattan and not to do that. Mm -hmm. It's a long commute; it's like an hour and a half commute each yeah, way. Yeah, Brooklyn is a big place. You know, um, we're deep in Brownsville, but I actually don't want to go back there because my grandmother is very sick, um, oh, no. and so I don't want to go into the house if I have Corona, like you know, on me from the train or something. You know what I mean? And anything wild like that can happen. She's in the age group where like if she got Corona, it would be a wrap. So, um, I'm, so I'm kind of like, sick with Corona. No, she doesn't have, no, she's just, she's just elderly. She has, she has know, an like under, yeah, stuff. one of those underlying conditions. Yeah. That's yeah. smart. Yeah. They say that, that young, healthy, uh, people are 
even like we're so likely to be carriers like you said right. you can like it can land land on you you can you know if you touch the wrong door knob right. or whatever and you might not even notice and then but you could transmit it to somebody else they say don't stay home because you're scared of getting it stay home so you don't accidentally give it to somebody who isn't so safe so that's right smart. it's incredibly smart and it's also like I, I mean, I, I even froze my gym subscription. And you, I know, you know, I love the gym. I love to work out. But it's like, I don't even want to put myself at risk at all. You know what I mean? For for, for other people, for myself, for anything. Um, so the yeah. best, as until we know more, until we know, we get a little more educated on the matter, which could take some time. Um, I just hope yeah. that the information that we are getting is accurate. Like, I feel like I, I, I want to stay positive in this, support group that's what it's for but like i'm yeah. just i also i feel like for this to hit at a time when the when our administrations aren't necessarily giving us accurate information is really scary for me and that is my reality yeah. today yeah i mean but you think about like any kind of um worldwide crisis that's happened like we would have we ever really gotten the truth the real information you know yeah. i feel like we, we we as the public aren't really privileged to that um which is uh, i think a good and a bad thing in some ways like it's a good thing that we're, like we're not really seeing the full brunt of it but also like we want to be included in the knowledge too because it's our lives at stake yeah. um so it's 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 finding that fine line and i find that um that 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 in all of this chaos like what are the things that like people, I, I personally go to music i love music I love music. I love listening to music. Listening to music just like makes you feel so good. Um, and so like to this morning I was making my eggs and I'm like listening to like the Dream Girls soundtrack. Of course, the Ooh. movie album. The movie okay, album. So the right Beyonce now. version. Yeah, no, I, I like to say the J Hud version. I, I like to okay, play good, the yeah. J Hud version. Um, um, I, was, I, I, I like that too. Track. How about the Anika Noni Rose uh, version? Oh yeah, true, true. Yeah, Where is Anika these too. days? Where is she? I need to go find her. <laughs> she had an amazing TV show on BET for a while. Yeah, um, that's right. That's right. Uh, um, but, the the quad. Yeah, uh, and right. I was obsessed with it. I even got to interview her about it, and it was wow. Like I finally, I felt like I was meeting one of my heroes, and <laughs> I, and she was so nice. She's crazy talented, crazy talented. Um, but I recently got to um. A secret recently got to work with Jay Hud um, on like I was in, in like one little tiny scene in the Respect movie. Oh wow! Um, and so I got to like hang out with her, and she's like the most sweetest person ever. You so you uh, interacted with her in that film? Yeah. Uh huh. Can you tell us? Did you play a character with a name? Uh, and his name was Jason. Okay. But you don't hear you don't hear his name at all. Like, okay. Oh wow! It's, the character was actually called actually called Jason, aka Sexy Guy. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, yeah, that's that's amazing, and I hope you put that in full on your resume. <laughs> and I, I hope it makes it that way in the credits. I hope it makes it into the movie. I mean, like, who knows? You know what I mean? Because the part was actually um, cut from the film, and because uh, one of the actors got sick early on and back in November, they had to reshoot it in February. So then they were like, let's just bring him back for this one scene. Um, and I was like, great. So that's a, that's a, a fun fact. Cool. Yeah. yeah. You really are keeping smiles on your face in all the ways. You know, what else are we going to do? Cry endlessly? Like, who's that hurts no one but ourselves? You know yeah. what I mean? Sometimes, um, I get sometimes you need to go through it, though. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, one thing I've learned is that if I am feeling anxious or sad or scared and I try to tell myself, no, be positive, push that away, it doesn't actually go away. It just gets suppressed. Right. And so instead, sometimes I'll be like, all right, I'm going to cry for I'm going to give myself an hour or a day or like I also am. You know, I've I've fought chronic depression and anxiety my whole life. Mm. Which is it's like a week. But yeah. the only way to get to the other side for me is to go through it. And if I try Absolutely. to go around or over it or under it, then it ends up just being a much bigger monster later on. Well, I always give myself like the 24 hour rule, right? Like a bad, not bad audition, but an audition happens. 
and like, or like someone, I get a call from my agent being like, you didn't get this gig. All right, I'm gonna give myself the 24 hours to mourn that, which usually means I'm gonna go eat somewhere and eat a lot of food. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then take a long walk and kind of be, feel my feelings about it and be upset and be angry and be like, well, you know, F that, you know, and like, mm -hmm. and like let my emotions out. And then you gotta, and then you recollect me like, okay, what do I still have at the end of the day? I still, I'm still the same person. I still have me. I still am walking around and so I'm breathing. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Um, I'm so glad you brought up going for a walk because I keep forgetting I'm allowed to go outside. Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. I, totally. I am, I am allowed to go. I, I live not far from the West Side, from West Side Highway and the um, Hudson River Park. And I'm mm. like, oh, it was, I didn't leave my apartment today. And it was like in the 60s. I could have taken my book and gone and sat and looked at the water and then right. gotten home and washed my hands really well. And you know, been, okay, there's no yeah, reason totally. we can't, you know, we don't have to be completely isolated. Right, right. Um, I also been finding I've been spending a lot of time FaceTiming with my friends. Like mm -hmm. um, Anna Villafagne and I FaceTime, Haley Kilgore, oh. um, my friends who live in Harlem, um, Ariel Satchel. You know, I mean, it's like, I'm like, where are my friends? Are they okay? Ashley Park. I'm like, are you guys safe? Cool. I love how you're good? dropping all of these amazing Broadway names. <laughs> well, they're, they're my people. They're my people. Yeah, um, yeah they're your family. Um, and and that's, that's the kind of thing about this Broadway family, this Broadway community that's kind of awesome. That is not, I don't think in really any other place is that like we, we are a family. Um, yeah. And I, and, and we kind of look out for each other. Like I read Patty's tweet about like, you know, people are asking what, what she, what people can get her daughter for when she's born, and she's like, donate to the Actors Fund, and I think that yeah. is incredibly beautiful. The Actors Fund is an incredible program, and I think we should support it because we're going to need that help um, when once we get back to work. Because some people won't be coming back to work at all um, yeah. because you know the pilot's not being made anymore, or you know the the tour is now ended, um, and that's devastating because. Um, as actors, we need to work, to live. Um, that is our bread and butter. We can't just kind of like decide one day, oh, we're just not gonna like do this anymore. No, we thrive on being artistic um, and getting paid for it. Um, and I that's a real- I had some friends whose show was, was canceled the day before first preview. Wow. Um, not, wow. Just, not just postponed, but like outright canceled. Uh, it was the new Duncan Cheek, Kyle Jarrow musical Whisper House. And um, Molly Hager was the star. And, you know, Molly has been, I don't know if you know Molly, but she's been. I don't know her, but I have met her mom before, yeah. You were her mom? That's awesome. Yeah. I, when um, I met her mom, um, Jesse, right? When we were auditioning for, um, when I was auditioning for some, some project. I can't remember what project yeah, it was. Cool. Well, yeah. Molly, Molly was in the ensemble of Waitress for the entire run. And she had a beautiful moment where she got to step forward and be um, Jenna's mom during some flashbacks. Mm -hmm. But she definitely was like one of those hardworking ensemble actors who just like put in the work. And she was about to have her star her role breakthrough. on a New York musical stage. And I was so here for it. And, um, and, you know, so many other people I know were in that and involved in that show as well. Mm -hmm. And then the day before first preview, the entire production was canceled. Yeah. And that's who I'm feeling for the most right now is like yeah. the people who who's in like for like for me I'm always like where's my next paycheck coming from? I don't know. And yeah. I I haven't had anything super concrete get canceled. I've had a lot of promising leads that we that are now off the table, but I feel like at least I am I don't know. Like I wasn't. I didn't wake up and suddenly realize this thing that I was counting on was suddenly yeah, gone. Yeah, it's just gone, completely gone. You know. Um, I think um, hopefully our government gets it together, and there are going to be more resources for people. I mean, like we have to like cross our fingers and hold our breath for that. But like, I'm crossing and holding, baby, because it's just it's um it's a huge cut to the to the market to to the entertainment industry. Period. And we're going to feel it. We're going to feel it. But you know what? What's also important is to remember that we have each other, that we're yep. all, we're all going through this. Yep. And that's it's why I'm doing this Instagram thing is I'm like, well, what, what do I have to contribute? 
Like, yeah, I've been yeah. talking forever about writing a book, and I think this would be a good time to yeah. really get to work on that. Do but it. my thing is community. It's joy building, and it's like hosting stuff. So yeah. at least my my area of expertise, my biggest passion, is something that I can do, and Instagram exists, and I'm like, put it on YouTube, and right. you know, right. try to keep doing my podcast, and like, give people a place once a day to come together, whether it's 10 minutes or an hour or whatever, and just know that the community still exists, even if we're not allowed to, or it doesn't make sense to physically convene. That's correct. That's correct. Thank God for, for our technology. <laughs> I know. I know somebody was saying that the last time Broadway had a shutdown of this length was in the 1920s. And there was no what? technology back then. Like, yeah, you were you... stuck in your house. You were stuck in your house. You had to what send do you do, up, like, get you, the candles? And <laughs> send, a, send an owl message to people? Like, what? <laughs> yeah, Telegram, like yeah. Pony Express. Clearly, I have no idea my historical timeline of technology. But um, <laughs> I, so I think that either this is going to remind us how much we need to slow down, like you said, and like focus on what's real. Or this is going to be a time when everyone just sort of like abandons all hope and descends into nothing but screen time. I can only imagine how many views like Netflix and Hulu and, you know, oh, yeah. I mean, I've been are getting right now. Like all day, I decided to start Walking Dead from the beginning. And I was like, let's just start because I've never watched it. Um, oh my gosh. So like, I've been watching that all day. But it's also like, it's also like, um, uh, it's, I You're watching like it's a gonna... show about the apocalypse right now? Yeah, I think it's so appropriate. <laughs> That's appropriate. I also feel like it's like too apt. I mean, I, like I want to be prepared, So right? kind of remind me of now. It's like, who has the virus? Yeah, like who has it? Like, how do you how do you contract it? What happens when you get bit? Like, I mean, I, 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 I'm kind of into it, though. I think it's actually really good. I was like, wow, this is yeah. really, really good. Yeah, sure. Um, and, and we've always we as a like a, a the human culture have always found entertainment in apocalypse stories which is fascinating if you think about it yeah yeah because we we're obsessed with this idea of the end um uh I, it's funny because the reading of the workshop that i just did last week was called what the end will be um and it's <laughs> by it's by jerry holder and it's a beautiful play about um three generations of uh gay black men living in the same house um, and how they each deal with that. And, and um, I don't want to give too much away because the play has yet, it's going to make yeah. it to world premiere at round about this summer. Um, but um, I think that um, we have this fascination with like, how do we control <laughs> the end of the world or what is beyond the, like what is beyond life? And I think that's why we so fixated on apocalypse and the end and, um, and contagion and all these kind of things, because we're just like, what happens when as when the whole entire thing is just shut down? What happens? Yeah, I want what can you remind us the name of the play and the playwright so we can all yeah, um, it's called, follow what, along it's called what the end will be um, by Jere Holder. And it's uh, at roundabout this summer. This summer. Oh God, I hope I hope that all those scheduled plays get to go on. Me too. Me too. I hope that by like by like uh, middle of April, everything is back to normal. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, One thing that I've been thinking about is um, the, you know, I mentioned Duncan Cheek earlier when I was talking about Whisper House. Spring Awakening is the show that changed my life and that oh, um, wow. yeah. inspired the, I mean, I, I have a degree in theater. I grew up going to plays and musicals in my community and in the San Francisco stops of the tours. I always loved it. But when I saw Spring Awakening, it, launched in me this burning passion that I couldn't help but like broadcast and at the time my broadcast medium was like you know yelling it on the sidewalk I love this <laughs> um, and as social media came along I created this Broadway girl character and um, and it sort of snowballed into what I what I am today one thing I think a lot of people don't know is that Spring Awakening was actually supposed to open five years earlier but didn't because of 9-11 and, oh, wow. and it I, got I postponed that. and and everyone was devastated and that's an oversimplification of the story and i don't even know all the details of the story but i know that there were a lot of people who thought that they missed their moment because of this mm. tragedy i will say that had it opened on schedule i wouldn't be where i am today because i need right. to discover it to set me on my path 
And yeah. so I'm hoping that, well, it, when someone's going through a heartbreak, to say everything happens to a reason for them, I think like to say that to them in the midst of their heartbreak is not a smart move or like the most right, sympathetic right. response. Or it, it seems a bit naive, you know, I understand that, of course. It's but, but it's But it's 100% valid. Well, looking at looking at it from the outside of a personal heartbreak, I've just got mm -hmm. all my fingers and toes crossed that even if things do get pushed, they are destined for greatness at the moment that turns out to be the right moment. Right. In two thousand one, right. would Spring Awakening have brought the would it have won the Tony? I don't know. Yeah. Would it have brought yeah. together the same cast? I don't know. Um, and would it have inspired inspired the same generation of artists? I don't know. So I'm hoping that. Anything that doesn't make it right now will still get there. And stored energy, right? That's going to have to just eventually... Poof. Like, I'm mm -hmm. so excited for, like, the eruption of of yep. of, of art that's going to come April My sister 12th and I were beyond. talking about this. We were talking about how, like, you know... Um, did you know that in New York City, after the blackout in like 1997, there was a huge baby boom because everybody uh, yeah, I'm sure. there was nothing to do but get busy? Yeah. I feel like, and actually, this is something my sister said. She was like, "Don't you think that there could theoretically be this artistic baby boom after yeah. after this this shutdown because because people like you are going to go home and be like." All right, I'm not going to set today, or I'm not going to right. the theater today. I'm, I'm gonna write. finally going to write my thing. I'm finally mm -hmm. going to create the thing. And if yeah. everybody can do that, wow, the art that we will have. Yeah, it will be a it will be a fantastic artistic revival. And not that we work. Oh, did on you our see that Crystal that. Joy Brown has joined us? I freaking Crystal love Joy people. Brown. What's up, Crystal? Um, Crystal, okay. I want you to be one of my um, support group special guests sometime. I'm gonna. We did a Hercules <laughs> reading. We did a Hercules reading, and Crystal was one of the muses. Um, she sang the, he ran the underworld, and she was so good. Oh, uh, I'll never forget it. I'll never forget it, Crystal. Is, oh, wait, and no, Crystal, Crystal says she's writing and singing and playing wait, wait, with wait. her new puppy. I, I, that's the wrong, that's Crystal Monet Hall. I'm talking about, I, you said Crystal Joy Brown. No, Crystal Joy yeah. Brown and I did a reading of a play with Michael Greif, um, and we, that's where we fell in love. <laughs> Crystal, she's, she's like, she's she's like, like no. no. Yeah, I was like, I got the wrong one. I got the wrong one. Crystal. Okay, uh, also, fun fact. So I just had an episode of FBI um, released uh, last Tuesday. Um, and after my uh, uh, callback with the director and the producers, um, I saw Crystal on the train. And she looked at me and she was like, I oh, feel yeah. like you got it. She's like, I, I think you got it. And I was like, I don't know, I don't know. And sure enough, like the next day I got it. Your good luck um, charm. She's a good luck charm. She's everything. She's so sweet. She's so talented. Um, I wish I could see her as Eliza in Hamilton. I want to see her burn so badly. I've seen it. She's oh amazing. God. She's I so good she that like I went, I saw her, um, uh, on the stage after the show, I got to go backstage and I was, mm -hmm. and I like, I was so tongue tied that I got her role wrong. I was like, um, I love you as Angelica or something like that. She was like, I'm Eliza. And I was like, no, I know you are. I know you are. And I just like, you know, I did that. The, the worst thing you want to do is when you're obsessed with somebody is like, make them feel like you don't know. Right, 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 right. I mean, but in the moment, things happen. Like, I just, I just didn't know who, who I just, like, had a brain fart. It was like, of oh, course, Christina of course. Oh, oh, um, you brought such a smile to my face tonight. Uh, and uh -oh. look at Crystal, why do people do this to me? The comments <laughs> are amazing. Uh, Crystal, uh, what was that song you sang at the workshop, Crystal? Um, where you were dancing around? Uh, um, oh, well, what was it called? Um, the Calypso song. Anyway. Whatever. Hopefully that's um, the right person in the right song. Otherwise, like I don't want to be the this I don't want to be responsible for the start of a new project. It is. It was a it was a calypso song. Um, I, I don't know. I I can't remember how it went. Um, something about I, I can't. It's it's been so long. There's well, so much in my brain. We, we, I'll, I'm gonna ask Crystal if she'll join me for a support group one of these days, and then maybe you can chime in in the comments, and she'll yeah find us. Um, did have a name, and I what? She says, did the song have a name? And did one of my, and, and I did one of my notorious back bends when we did the production in Boston. 
Of course you did. Of course you did. I don't see that. Oh, Jeremy oh. O'Harris has joined the party. What up, boo? Oh my gosh. Jeremy, I need to call you about something actually. Um, so um, <laughs> let's let's connect. I have an I have an idea about something that I've been sitting on that I'm like I need to talk to Jeremy O'Harris about this. Oh um, my gosh! Can I tell you a Jeremy O'Harris story while we're on the on the subject? Yeah. After I saw um, Slave Play Downtown, I tweeted that I thought it was the mo one of the most important theatrical works I I'd ever seen, and I was sure. speechless and blown away. And Twitter came after me. And I was, um, it was the, the people who had been confused by the New York Times photograph that was used. Um, mm -hmm. and, and I was determined to like stay calm and not argue, but engage and say, you know, help me, help me, like what, help me understand. Da, da, da. And eventually Jeremy um, tweeted me and was like, it's okay to let this go. <laughs> but I just felt so yep. much like, I didn't want to just, I didn't want to shut anybody down and, and I, I, but I was getting attacked and I felt so like so, such a sense of relief when Jeremy himself said uh, that it was, it was okay for me to give myself a break for supporting his, you know, his work. Um, well, here's I the thing about, about, about Slave Play that, um, that I'm kind of like, is it's, it means it did its job, right? It means that the, the play actually touched the nerves of the mm -hmm. people that it's supposed to touch, is that you cannot leave that play and not feel anything, right? There's so many plays we leave, I, I'm going to speak personally, for, that I leave, and I'm like, oh, okay, like, okay, I got the message, I, I cool, cool, cool. You know, but a play that really, like, gets in there and taps something that, like, is deep within us, whether it, it is our um, internalized homophobias, our internalized racism, our internalized um, sexism, whatever it is that it touches, um, a, a play does its job well when it, when it would stabs that nerve that's deep within. Um, and I think it, 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 I that's want art that makes me uncomfortable. Like, yeah, it right, makes, it makes me squirm in my seat and makes you have a conversation. That's the thing that I appreciated about Slave Play the most is that like people were able to talk about it and talk about how they feel about the world through it for months, for months. Um, people are still talking. I'm st we still bring up Slave Play in many discussions. Um, I mean, hell, talk about a virus going around. Like, <laughs> I mean, come on, you know? Do you know how many people I know in, in regular conversation where we go, I am the gift. Yeah, <laughs> like that. the prize. Yeah, the prize. Yep. Yeah. 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 You know. Um, um, I just want to mention in the comments, Jeremy said. Jeremy says he's probably going to have to close Daddy. Um, oh, in London. Is in London right now, and that is oh, that. Oh, I don't want anything to close. I mean, I want everyone to be I safe, know. but I loved Daddy. Oh, baby. first of all, there that were some so beautiful good. bodies that I got to see, but also I mean, like. The, the metaphors of art and uh, like water and yeah of course now now that I know that he's watching and listening I'm I'm doing that thing where I can't actually speak about it but um, <laughs> you know but that that I ain't actually nothing, have ain't I he hasn't my heard. Playbills and that one you know there was a pool on stage and my yeah. playbill got soaked and so now I have this oh how, you were close to the what, what row were you in I was like in the first row. I was oh, first no, you got the second slow. row. I got, got splashed. Slow. And yeah, I yeah. normally try to keep all my playbills pristine, but I yeah. love that that one, you can tell it got soaked. So it's, Oh, I love that. Yeah. That's like that's like an artistic piece in and of itself. Like a totally. wet table. Yeah. Ooh. I mean, wet is appropriate for that show too, in a weird way too. Uh, um, very much so. <laughs> um, um, yeah, yeah. So you know, it's it's a it's a crazy cool time right now, um, because I think that I like to, I'm gonna still still see the positive end of, end of the tunnel, where the things that we're gonna create are gonna be so freaking fantastic, that the world will just have to be like, we gotta produce them all because these people are brilliant. <laughs> and you know what? Even if nobody else does anything, if Jeremy O. Harris is in quarantine right now and has more opportunities to create things. I told him to, court, to be safe. He better get out, of, get out of the UK. 
I know. Well, did you hear that um, Sarah Bareilles and Gavin Creel cut short their run in Waitress I because they didn't that. know if they'd be able to get home if they didn't come right away? Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's, it's so, um, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I don't want people to panic. I don't want to create panic. I just want people no to panic. The community and is also, still here. Yeah. Also, like, don't, like, read everything you see on Twitter. Like, I've been falling prey to that. Um, my friends keep reminding me, like, get off the internet. Like, get off the internet. And I'm like, you're right, you're right, right. Let me not read every single thing because mm -hmm. then I'm just, like, spinning. You know what I mean? It's like, right. what the hell? What, what What does that do for me? Nothing. <sighs> yeah. Um, I wish I could play the piano. There's a piano right in front of me right now, and I wish I could play it because I would play you a song and sing you a song, but I don't play the piano. So, <laughs> what so I mean, I could try. Are. I could try. Uh, Let's see what I can do here. Okay, yay. I don't. I, don't, I honestly don't know how to play the piano. So, just sing. Crystal Joy Brown says, "Just sing." Just sing. What am I gonna sing? I don't gonna sing nothing. I have often dreamed of a far off place. Where a great warm welcome will be waiting for me. Where the crowds will cheer when they see my face. And the voice keeps saying, this is where I'm meant to be. I will find my way. I can go the distance, I'll be there someday. If I can be strong, I know every mile will be worth my while. I would go most anywhere to feel like I belong. I don't know. I don't know. Guys, You're killing me. Today. That was amazing. I haven't wow. sang in like months. That was the first time I've sang in months. So there you are. <laughs> I mean, um, I'm going to go cry for a while. <laughs> what a gift that was. Oh, you're so sweet. You're, you're so such sweet. A gift. We got to find the music within us. You know what I mean? Like, I'm going to be real with y'all. Like, I haven't done, well, yeah, because I've kind of taken a step away from Broadway for a bit because I'm trying to focus on this TV and film grind and I'm also writing some things, but um, I um, I miss it. I do miss it. I do miss it because it's always going to be, a part, it's always a part of me, you know what I mean? Um, that's what I grew up wanting to do. I can remember the first time I saw In the Heights on Broadway and I was like, all I want to be like is like on that stage doing that. I'm still dying to work with Lynn. Lynn, call me. <laughs> we'll send him um, this video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Send this video. I mean, he knows. I how too much. am dying to work with Lynn. So he knows how much I love him. He knows how much I want to work with him. He already knows. I've already like, done, I've already bothered him about that too many times in my life. Um, I'm actually kind of surprised you haven't been tapped for Hamilton yet. You know, who knows what the future might hold? Who knows? Okay, let's. If you could play um, any of the men in Hamilton, which who? Oh. Would I would want to play Hamilton. Yeah. To be quite honest, I'd want to play Hamilton. You I mean, want to do a little audition while we're here, like a little. Uh... <laughs> there was a time where I want to play Burr, like, um, like the fact, just like to sing "Wait for It" would be like incredible. You know what I mean? Like on stage on a Broadway stage. Every time I see that number on stage, I've seen the show four times now because friends, so many friends have been in it that I've gone to see different productions. Did you say and four? now, huh? Four times. Four times. And now I have to go to a fifth to see Crystal Joy Brown. Uh -huh. Yep. So I have to go there a fifth time. Um, you want to like... know something crazy? You want to know something that makes people want to seriously hurt me? Yeah. I just thought for the 22nd time. What? 22nd? I've uh, interviewed so many of the cast members, and oh I, I refuse to see. I refuse to talk to somebody about a role if I haven't seen them in it. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. Um, I will say that I I do not take up seats other people would be sitting in, though. I just stand in the back and watch. Okay, good. Oh, and speaking of, check this out. Rise up, rise up. Hey. Oh, you know, this is from Chief Rico, by the way. What? What'd you say? 
I said, Theodore, who's your rice? Send me a letter every day. Stop. Stop. I'm keeping the bed warm while her husband is away. He's on a British side in Georgia. He's trying to keep the colonies in line. But he can keep all the Georgia. Theodosia, she's mine. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> oh, right, we might just have to do our own show every day. You you should just be using Instagram Live for this. Like, you miss what? Get on Instagram oh, Live no. and like... like well, I, I do have to sing a song for... um. For that living room series that Broadway World is doing, they asked me to do that. So I have to decide what song I'm going to sing. So if anyone has any suggestions, let me know. Um, I don't know what I'm going to sing I yet. I say make it something that you that you want to do someday, like a dream role, so that mm, people see. You know, so it's like it's like a low, you're low key auditioning. Okay, about, okay, I see, I see what you're talking about. You, um, know? you know what I'm dying to do? Um, a um, revival of Raisin the Musical. Really. The Raisin and, and the Sun play, story. Yeah, I want to play Walter. I really do. I want to. I want to. I really want to do that. Um, I was kind of like so hyped for the Dream Girls revival. I, I like can't believe that's not happening anymore. It's so sad. Um, so what I want to know is whether mm -hmm. during a time like this we could get some artists, some some writers to like give us the rights to do an Instagram musical, like to do a like a like a reading of a show and just like do it from someone's living room or something. Yeah, or even get, you know, we're, we're on a split screen two way right now. But what if you got a split screen, like, like a video conference kind of thing, oh, where they do it like 20 people where everyone's in their room, you know, in their own home. And yeah. someone's also controlling, like stage managing or, or um, whatever, like cinematography kind of thing. Right. Where they, pull, they pull up the people who are singing those parts. Well, I think what we should do is like a like a we all gather in one spot, like just like ten people, and then mm -hmm. we have like three cameras, like a multicam setup, essentially. You know what I mean? And then like you just like hit different people as they're doing scene and kind of create like a like a a movie reading. Well, let's weird, start like... calling. Let's start calling people between the. Oh my god! We have a lot of people. What 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 will we do? What show will we do? Whatever we could get the rights to. I mean. That's true. Or maybe have to be we like, can find maybe maybe this is an opportunity for us to lift up playwrights like plays that haven't been produced haven't yet. been ever been done yeah Jeremy yeah. O'Harris I'm looking at you let's, <laughs> let's get a script yeah. that isn't out yet I mean I know so many people from the graduate musical theater writing program when I was at NYU who are constantly writing new musicals and things like why not you know get your friends you have so many so much Broadway talent available. Um, and, you know, we're not going to, like, ask for money to do it, but it's just for, like, a sense of, like, to create artistic growth happening. Um, yeah. That's a really and cool you know idea. What? If we did it, if we did it on Instagram Live, there's an opportunity yeah. at the end of the video to save it. And I've, I've been saving these and, put, like, you know, letting people watch them after the fact. But if we did an Instagram Live without saving it, it would only be available to people who actually we watched it. Yeah. Watched it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a cool idea. So let's uh, let's see if anybody wants to do their musical. Um, I say we we rather than trying to like get the rights to, you know, like right an established like Rodgers and Hammerstein piece or like you know, uh, of course like a, a, a like the, and we don't need to be doing those shows anyway. Those already have been done. I right. agree. Let's 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 celebrate pieces that have never been done. Or before. you know what? I'm gonna call. I don't know if I should say it on like. On, <laughs> but like, I wonder if we could do something with Whisper House or one of the other shows that just got just like that was supposed to open and then isn't. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like that there's that's probably complicated. That's, there's probably rights issues there too, but you right. know. Um, but I think the idea of it is pretty cool. I just like the idea of like doing something brand new that no one's ever seen before. Yeah, and right um, home, with, if, with something new and unproduced, the rights probably belong only to the person who wrote it. And right. that gets a lot less complicated. Well, I right. say that we keep brainstorming this. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, off camera. And then okay. we'll update people. Um, it's already been like 45 minutes. You're so generous to spend this time with me and with well, all of us. what else I gotta do? I'm just chilling. <laughs> I just, I think that really you put a lot of smiles on people's faces and also like a lot of tears in people's eyes with you singing, I can go the distance. And then Dear Theodosia, my God. <laughs> You're so sweet. 
You're so sweet. Um, well, uh, this this has been awesome. Uh, I feel really very supported, and the you community should. feels stronger than ever. Um, let me know anything I can do for you, even if it's like bringing over a, the rare roll of toilet paper. Uh, <laughs> the will, golden uh, toilet paper. I know. Did you? But like, have you heard about people who? Used, what? I use the like the wipes. This is so much TMI. This is so TMI. But I use the wipes because like you know it's just like a cleaner cleanup. So like I'm not fighting for toilet paper. All right. Get well, the wipes, as long as you can get wipes. <laughs> That was TMI to the max. Wow. Hi, I we're said earlier now. before you joined the video, someone asked about toilet paper and I was like, I still have like eight rolls, but also, you know, there's a shower right there. So if I need to go yeah. that route, that's I mean, also TMI, so. <laughs> <laughs> In these times, I don't know if there are, is there, is there anything as TMI? I mean, like. As long as we're making each other smile, even if it's yeah. something a little bit personal, a little bit gross, I'm here for it. I also need everybody to watch um, the Cardi B um, uh, coronavirus uh, video that somebody made it to like a somebody made it to like a, a song and it's the funniest thing I've ever seen. Oh my god! Oh my god! I, I, I need to repost it on my story. Oh my gosh! Anna Viafanya just joined us. Anna, what's up? Yeah, oh, I, I literally... just streamed um, Sunnyside. I just watched the entire oh. season. Um, I've not seen the whole season. I've only seen the well, first episode. Do you, so you haven't gotten to Anna yet? No, but no. She's amazing in it. Yeah. Yeah, so I need to, back I need next to watch for your, and Once you finish The Walking Dead, you can get something a little bit. Yeah, a little something bit a little lighter. lighter. A, a yeah. comedy. Exactly. Um, yeah. All right. Wow, this has been so fun. Thank you so much. Of course. Of um, course. And, uh, and like, let's. Let's really brainstorm what we can do to showcase new art and new artists in the time when people are um, like starved for new content. There is yeah. a, there's a, a, there's a term my sister uses. I want to make sure that I get it right because it's so brilliant. It's, oh, an unexpected window of opportunity. Um, mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I think that, that if we can see this as an unexpected window of opportunity instead of just like a shutdown, then the world yeah. will be a better place. 1,000%. 1,000%. We got this, everybody. Hold in there. Um, oh, there's my sister. Unwelcome oh, window is. of opportunity. I knew I, I, knew it was I was going to say <laughs> Well, I'm glad she's here with me. And what a, what a beautiful, like, gathering of all the people. Thank you for everybody who took part. And um, tomorrow I'm doing another one. So. Woo! Oh, yeah, my God. Who's going to be here tomorrow? Um, tomorrow, Javier Munoz, speaking of Hamilton. Oh, I love Javi. It, Javi's oh. going to join me. And, you know, his show got shut down earlier yeah, than right. expected. And we're going to chat and find support and have some smiles and have some love. And, um, yeah, and uh, I'm going to get – I'm going to talk to Crystal Joy Brown about coming and doing one. Um, Anna, now that now that this is on your radar, I'm coming for you, too. Um, and, uh, and we'll just keep supporting each other no matter what happens. Yes, yes, we got this. We got this, peeps. We got this. Also, if anybody wants to like, just like talk and chill, like they can DM me and we can work it out. Oh you my know gosh. I mean? You know, I've been like, I've been very generous with my time. Like, I'm like, yeah, if you have a question you've always wanted to ask, ask. And then we'll, you know, um, we'll go from there. Amazing. Yeah. That's so generous. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm, I'm inspired by, by Laura Benanti's. Um, oh. Generosity. Sunshine songs. Sunshine, sun, sunshine songs. I can't even say it. Um, but I'm inspired by it. Yeah. Oh, me too. Me too. High school kids yeah. singing the, for their lives. and. I mean, in um, high school, like, it was, theater was, like, that's why I found theater. If it wasn't for my high school, I would not have been an actor. Um, so, yeah, I understand. I understand the, like, the need to express at that age is so vital. Um, so, yeah. I'm also watching all the sunshine, sun shine songs i can't say it it's a tongue twister say that 10 times i dare you that'll be your new um red leather yellow leather like, yeah sunshine right songs, sunshine, long, sunshine, sunshine songs sunshine songs um the oh. comments someone in the comments has asked me to say hello to ben whose show got canceled ben my heart goes out to you what's up ben i'm so and sorry anybody and everybody else who's whose world's been turned upside down no pun intended um and uh and we'll keep doing this i'm planning on doing uh, Broadway shutdown support group indefinitely until the shows are back on and up and running. So um, 
you know, just keep keep it here. Same time, yeah. same place. Although probably the times probably will vary, but um, yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna we're keep leaning on each other. Yeah, and we know that we are. We're all stars when we see that. That that was my that was my jam. All right, okay. Me and my sister in our living room being like, <laughs> like that was like. That was uh, middle school for me. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> You're going to end up with the Jelani Aladdin show. You're going to be like the next host of The Tonight Show as a result of Oh, my God. You're so great and funny. I've seen you on stage lots of times, but this is, I feel, the most I've gotten, like, you as your personality. And your personality me? is so great. I'm crazy. I, I, I'm, I'm mentally unstable, but it's okay. <laughs> all, the, all the best people are. <laughs> oh we'll my god all night if we don't stop now and i, I know i know, I've got, I know i've got art to try to make so Let's and so do, do you it. mister do yes i do all, all right. right good night broadway love you Chill love you guys best. good night you too. good night <laughs>